I've been on the road now for almost three weeks and if anybody knows what that's like, it's, it takes a lot of dedication to eat well, to stay exercised and just you know get that sleep. It's a show season for me, so I've been from Dallas to Reno, now to Las Vegas, and it's really just keeping it tight. So one of the things that uh, our wilderness athlete has is they have this you know, challenge that it's just a great workout, it's fast, um, they even have it for time. If you wanna you know, use it as a benchmark over you know, every three months, but it's something that can just get the blood moving. You know, I warmed up on the treadmill, did the 5K there, and now it's just a matter of just keeping the body, you know, moving, hitting it in different angles. So this is how it starts. It starts out with just 30 burpees, and um, I'll run you through what it is, but it's a really good little uh, little exercise to keep, keep motivated and keep using the body while I'm on the road, so it works for me. So it just starts out. 30 burpees. After the burpees goes into air squats, the idea for me is to stay centered, weight over, weight over your feet, you know, the whole, your whole foot. Kind of keep the back straight to just Don't go down too far. You want to hit that almost that 90 degrees. So 40 of these. Don't lock it out at the top. You don't want to be doing this. Mm -hmm. 40 of those. Okay, so next up is 30 sit-ups. And if you, you can do them without any weight on your feet, holding your feet down, but sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of something. Because it can be challenging to, to just do sit-ups without. It's, it doesn't matter either way, but if you don't have anything, you don't have to go all the way back, shoulders down, because that actually gives you a rest in the middle, which you don't want. So, and you don't want to come up too far, because that's a rest as well. You just want to keep your abs engaged the whole time. And focus, focus on the core. Literally think about the muscles that you're using and keep them contracted during the whole movement. 30 of those. So the key for these workouts for me is form, is it doesn't matter how fast you do them, when you do them all in sequence and you're trying to go for a time, if you do them with great form the first time, and sloppy form the next time, it's not a comparable workout. The whole point is to do proper form and get the maximum out of the workout, not the, necessarily the maximum speed. Ultimately, we're just trying to build strength and we're trying to build endurance and we're trying to build it properly for long-term, you know, lifelong lasting results. So it's funny because I look at my son and he just wants to get to the other end. It doesn't matter how fast, how he does it, he just wants to get there fast. That's great. But at the same time, you need to be able to do the form properly to get the maximum results out of it. So that goes, goes with push-ups as well. So when we're doing a push-up, you wanna keep your butt low, don't get your butt up. Everybody knows how to do a push-up. It's just a matter of whether you do them properly or not. Well, <laughs> we've all learned how to do these in grade school. So wherever the comfortable position for your hands are, um, you know, some guys can go tight because they want to use more triceps and, you know, more of a push-up like that, which in my opinion is a lot easier and faster. So if, if that, those are the ones you choose, that's fine. If you want to focus on your chest a little bit more, then you do them, little hands further apart, bring the elbows out, more of a 
or like a chest press. So, but the key is to keeping your butt low and doing it properly. So 20 of these. There isn't a proper pull-up bar, so we're basically using the leg press or bench press bar, and sometimes you just have to be a little more flexible with, <laughs> with what it is that you've got. So, in this case, I'm gonna have to bend my knees for sure, and just try 10 pull-ups, and 10 pull-ups isn't actually easy. You know, you actually, it's, it's gonna take some time to get there if you're not there. So, you just have to keep, keep working at it. I think the key to pull-ups is <laughs> losing body fat because it's, you're pulling your whole weight and you have to have that muscle to weight ratio, which is a really, <laughs> it's, it's not an easy thing to get to, especially the way most of us eat. Um, so it's, it's a hard exercise. And if you can get work your way up to 10, or if you're at, you know, obviously more than that, you're doing good. So, shoulder width apart. I'm gonna have to come up, bring my, bring my legs off the ground, but it's just one, get that knee. So that's all there is for this workout. It doesn't take you know a whole pile of time. Really, it just hits those muscle, major muscle groups that that just get the blood and the body moving in the morning. Well, for me, it's in the morning. But yeah, head over to Wilderness Athlete if you want. Post your time. If you have something compared to others, it's a you know great community. Um, yeah, the whole point here is to try to do it properly. Do each technique properly. If you can't find a pull-up bar drop the pull-ups, it doesn't matter. It's about just doing what you can do with what you've got. This is a great one for me that I can just hit everything while I'm on the road, no matter what, I can do it in the hotel room, obviously minus the pull-up bar, but it's just about getting out and doing it. So keep up the good work, continue to do the work, head over to Wilderness Athlete, check out their stuff, and um, yeah, let's get after it together. Have a great day.